In the Oscar race this year, there are 53 total films, 10 shorts, 43 features. I've seen most of the big Oscar contenders this year, but looking at the full list, I've only caught a fraction of the movies up for nomination. Here's what I wanted to know. How do you cram for the Oscars? The short answer, you gotta go hunting for films that you've missed. There's no one place online or brick and mortar theater for one-stop viewing for each and every nominee. So first things first, how long would it take to see them all? I did some rough back of napkin math and the average runtime for the best picture nominee is 138 minutes. And again, there are 43 features, so leaving out the shorts, you'd have to devote around 99 hours to say you caught up with all the major films. So let's prioritize. First, where can you see the best picture nominees? This is all still evolving, but here's what i found so far. Many of the films are still in theaters. Regal Cinemas, the nation's biggest theater chain, is promoting a festival for viewing all of them the week before the Oscars. AMC is offering the chance to see all nine films in one day for $60, but to take full advantage, you need around 20 hours, plus time for previews and a bathroom break or two. With films like Lincoln and Les Mis, that's the only place I've found to watch them legally in theaters. If you know of another way, tweet me. Now, what about home viewing? What's available there? Comcast Cable says they have 13 Oscar films available on demand, and other cable companies offer the same, and all for less than the price of a movie. Now, what about Apple's iTunes? Of the Best Picture nominees, iTunes has three. Life of Pi, Beast of the Southern Wild, and Argo. Argo will cost you 20 bucks on iTunes. It's a bit cheaper on Amazon, $15. They've got many of the same films available as Apple. Apple's also got four of the five best documentaries and all the animated features. And Netflix? According to the company, it only has films available in the documentary category. Hulu? Hulu has two, Paperman, an animated short, and one of the documentary nominees. So between them all, you can find a way to watch most of the films up for nomination, but there's an easier way. Know an Academy member who can share the DVDs. That's the short answer.